Andrea Mazzi, a man who normally plays his rugby in the centre of Biarritz. Centre by trade, but playing at fullback today. And England have managed to mess things up. Oh dear. Yeah, well, it's one thing being an experienced international, it's another thing being an experienced scrum half. And we have a look now, just two clips really highlight where he's like, at the breakdown, you can step back here as a scrum half and let your other players win the ball for you, so you can always see the ball. But realistically, in defence, he's completely out of position. He should be sweeping behind the rook and ball. Had he had been there, Andy Goode probably would not have scored that try to give him the lead. He really is a massive problem for Italy, and I think he will be for the rest of the game. Bergamasco hoping the ball was going to come back, Last but it hit. didn't. Look at it, that boy's no problem there at all. A clumsy kick forward. Where is the scrum half? He's not there. Serious injury problems. Oh, oh dear. dear. There's Bergamasco. Oh my and goodness. There's another for the collection book. Andy Goode onto it in a try, flash. Try, try, Ricky Flutie, if he gathers, will score. And he does. Three tries from three Italian mistakes. Matted against his head. Gone the wrong oh, way. And again, it's place. gone too high. Now then, the problem with the poor pass is that the poor old fly half often gets it in the neck, Brian. Yep, slow because he stood up. Bang, thank you. That's not a wait. It's not. He's trying to pass it from the floor, but it's it's a bounce Wallace, isn't it? This one. Oh, there you go. <laughs>